Greetings and gratitude to all light forms and life workers who have found this. Day 9 of 31 days of card magic. Today I will show how I keep the cards. These are the types of boxes and organization system I personally have to maximize space and it always changes. I'm always looking for new ways to maximize as new decks come and go. So I recently received a few more decks since the last few videos and I would like to show to any person there's so many different ways to repurpose and find ways to keep all of your things in a tight um, uniformed way that is that is respectful to the cards is my main priority here so I recently received a deck from Lithuania and inside was the box so what I did I just put the box in I took another box which is a cookie monster playing cards or the cookie monster oracle and I placed it inside there so this little box is going is being reused I'm gonna probably put more tape and stickers on things over time I have not done that yet Next, we have this rusted vintage uh, chocolate box that was given to me by a friend. And inside, I keep decks here. So, this here, if anyone has any bandanas, you can take your cards that you want to be kept. So, keep the cards as you want kept here. And put them in the center of the bandana. Fold up the corners and roll it into the center. And then tie it off as a knot. Or not your choice. And... You have it tightly packed and fits inside boxes or purses or other things just with a simple bandana. It's a way to keep the cards in place. Everyone has a different process, a different way to do it. I keep them open inside, mostly open in this box. Just for space management because if it's too tight, this box won't close. Also inside, I have the secret language of light. And then there's playing card oracle. And you can always tape up your decks to when the box starts going, you can tape it up. I will show you I have some boxes like that um, as we go on, but this one is not. So sometimes be aware if your boxes are not in the best condition, which boxes you put them in. Because these two boxes I have have not been duct taped yet. I keep them in here in a place that they will not get damaged out of all of my other containers. There's less movement in this one because of the bandana. So easy to travel with, pretty secure, doesn't come open by itself. So pretty good here. And then uh, I have the bag of runes. I sometimes keep decks in here, but now I just keep the mat. Just any way to maximize the empty space and kind of keep the energies of the objects together as much as possible. So next we go to the white bin. I have the Visconti and I keep most of the decks in their boxes if they come with good boxes. But if not, I always replace, or if I don't have the boxes for some reason, I find other ways to use them. So, Visconti still in the box. And then, 
here we go to four different things in one bag. This was a bag that came from R Russia for the Lenormand. This large bag was only holding this one small deck, which is very small to the size of the bag. And I wanted to honor that. And I had this Ziploc bag that I was holding two decks, the Angel Oracle and the Shadow of Oz. So I put the Teeny Tarot as well in here. And so now there's four, two tiny and two moderate in this big bag. And it kind of keeps it secure and all together and allows for more space usage compared to how much they shift it in. So I got the package and it made me laugh how much misused space there was. So I wanted to honor that packaging. I have next here my goal is to keep the decks as aligned as possible there's still room for one more small deck in here of cards playing cards could one or two decks of playing cards could fit in here so I still have open space for if I do get any more um, there is open space I can use I can change my space up to to make space for more decks but that's not my goal I do like to um, distribute them give them out as gifts at certain times but certain ones I will always keep and finding these Ziploc bags these are really really nice oftentimes they're made in China or a lot of places and you can keep like one to two decks in here depends on the size and these are ones for like the vintage decks from the 60s or 70s that you don't really want to be in their boxes anymore they don't have a box but you want to keep them keep them in good condition this is something I recommend okay and now we go on to a cigarette box or a cigar box so you will find these all over the world there's cigar boxes like this and these are really good for holding cards in um, so be on the lookout for these if you ever see them they're really good for holding your cards in so I got quite a few things here I have one, the smallest tarot deck I could find is the Shadow of Oz for dollhouses. And I do use these for individual card giveouts and for art pieces. I have this world, World's Smallest Magic, the Gathering cards, as well for readings or art pieces. Some people really like the tiny, tiny readings, so I offer that to them. Um, I have a bag given to me by a druid mage. Underneath is a pendulum given to me by anonymous viewer who would like to remain anonymous. Had a very powerful object. She also gave this deck. Um many years ago five six years ago I bought this game flux for my aunt and she passed away and it is very powerful for readings as well for a game so as well so are these these are playing cards that are being turned into other art projects or art readings I keep them in here this is number two of my daily reading. It's a vintage 1995 season one of the Pokemon anime.
then recent deck edition is a used demo copy from a uh, mystical shop of the cat tarot as well as a demo of the of the Estensi Tarot the Golden Estensi Tarot so those are all kept in here there's uh, probably a space for maybe one or two more decks um, comfortably if I move stuff around there's a few other places where some of these things could go. So. And like I said, I haven't finished uh, personalizing these to the extent I would like to yet. So, the whatever you have, whatever types of containers you have, use. And the more intention and care you put into the decks, I find the more clear the messages become and the easier it is to build a relationship of each and every deck instead of just having one type for always. So I hope that answers for you. Wishing you power, love, and magic. See you in the next broadcast.